Yeah, I mean, it was a good win for the first game. It was the first competitive game they've had. Um, it's a tough place to go. The pitch isn't great. Um, they've had to adapt the style of play that we really want to play. But you're going to have to do that at places, and they took it on board. Um, and they, they ground out the three points. We could have had three or four more, to be fair to them. So they, it was a really impressive performance for the first game. We turned up, didn't really know what to expect. Um, heard a lot of things about them, and they'd, you know, they'd won the league last year. Um, not ideally the best place to go for your first under-19s game, but um, full credit to the lads that come out with, with three points. Very, very positive performance. We've had, we've had two training sessions down here, and obviously because the game's at home on, on Monday, um, obviously the playing surface isn't going to be anywhere near like that. It's going to be perfect every time you play on it. So we've just practised on possession, keeping the ball in little tight situations, playing out from the back and just getting them together and getting a bit of morale in the team. It's about getting to know each other, um, not only us as management, knowing the players, but players knowing each other as well. Um, like I say, we've, we've got nine or ten from our scholarship on board, um, which helps us because we've got, we've got them every day uh, on the training ground, so they know what our expectations are. And like I say, it's just it's about getting them to, to buy into what me and Blotty want them to do. Well, this year, as you know, we've tried to develop uh, all the youth set up uh, to feed into this under-19 side. Um, and it's a daunting prospect for some lads who've, who've maybe yeah. not played in front of a crowd. Uh, and we're trying to develop these players so that they can step into a first-team dressing room or a first-team uh, game and it not to affect the players. So the more people we can get down on a, on a Monday night to watch them, um, they get used to the surroundings, uh, they get used to a crowd behind them. Uh, and ultimately, when they progress through and, and have a chance in the first team, they can, uh, it's, similar, it's familiar surroundings for them. Obviously, you know, I don't want to make this sound the wrong way, but there's, there's no pressure on under 19. You know, it's all about development and, and bringing these kids on and trying to teach them what's expected when you do step up to real time football, as you say. Um, so, you know, it'll be coming down, it'll be not, not necessarily. Uh, a must that you've got to win. Obviously, we want to. That's that's the top and bottom. Of it. But like I said, it, it it is more about the development of players and and you know hopefully um, giving them the tools to progress further up the ladder. In previous years, we've had a, a bit of a gap. So um, we've gone from um, tens up to 16s, 17s, and then we've had a bit of a, a stalling point where players drifted out of football or went and played for the people. So now we're trying to get as many local people uh, from the area and develop through our academy to go and play for the first team. I mean, we've seen this year already that we've uh, pulled one or two players in from the under-16 side and last year's under-17s to go and train with the first team just to get that feel of what it's like and what's expected of them. And the, the 19s is that stepping stone to go through uh, onto the first team. They come down, it's a big occasion for them. They're all looking forward to it. We had our training session Monday, they're all buzzing that they're at home. Um, we said there might be a few down, so just come down, give them a bit of encouragement, show them then, make it a good night for them, because a lot of these lads won't have played at this, this stage or this in front of people like this before, and, and it's good for them to do it. It's good experience, and that's what they're going to have to face if they want to make it into the first game. Under floodlights um, at a fantastic stadium, you know, give these kids the experience that they, they deserve, really. Um, you know, let them taste what it's like to play in front of a, of a crowd. Come, in front of passionate supporters, you know, and who knows, they might just see one or two that are playing in the first team a little bit down the line. It'll be uh, it'll be entrance through the uh, the bar area. Um, at the cost for admission, it'll be uh, two pound um, or a pound concessions. Um, uh, the bar will be open. Uh, we'll be treating it everything just like a first team game. There'll be um, the food van will be down, just the, exactly the same, and we're trying to make it as much like a first team game as possible. So uh, try and get as many people down as we can, uh, just to uh, obviously encourage these new lads that are coming through, but just try and set the scene. Uh, so this is what's expected of them and, and, and make that easy progression through to first team football.